village. That word, for me, brings up images of solidarity, of community, and of hope. And since this particular TED Talk was framed around villages, that's what compelled me to participate in this conversation. Uh, I was the Commissioner of Labor here in Maine for eight years, and for the last two years of my term, we were experiencing the worst economic downturn that we had had since the Great Depression. And what I saw were tens of thousands of Maine people struggling to keep a roof over their head, food on the table, and provide for their families. And as we grappled with um, finding solutions to the challenges, what I realized was that we were dealing with tools and policies that had been created during the Great Depression and that they were being tested severely for the first time since then. And one of the people responsible for developing those tools was a woman with Maine roots. Her name was Frances Perkins. Her family is from Newcastle, Maine. And she was FDR's Secretary of Labor and, and, sir, and the first woman cabinet member, and responsible for the programs that we were implementing, such as unemployment insurance and, when she, and other New Deal policies. And when she was asked later in her life, what was the New Deal anyhow, her response was, um, what was the New Deal anyway? Was it a political plot? Was it just a name for a period in history? Was it a revolution? To all of these questions, I answer no. It was something quite different. It was, I think, basically an attitude an attitude that found voice in expressions like, the people are what matter to government, and a government should aim to give all the people under its jurisdiction the best possible life. And what I believe we need to do now is recreate that new New Deal by focusing, not because it's the uh, good thing to do or morally right, um, but rather because it is economically sound we need to move from what some people are calling yo-yo economics, which means you're on your own, to <laughs> a program that demonstrates that we're all in this together. We can look to history, recognize that we have the power to solve these problems, and come up with creative solutions and create similar enduring programs to meet today's need. So thank you.